in this video we are going to see a concept of supermatch analysis with a dependent and independent sources present in the circuit so here is the problem we have to get a current flowing through 8 ohm resistor using the mesh analysis technique three meshes are given so we'll have three mesh currents i1 i2 and i3 as per the currents we will have the voltage drop across each and every resistor present in the circuit now we are ready to apply kvl but the problem is that in the mesh 1 current source is present same is the problem with the mesh 2 there is a current source which is sharing between 1 and 2 hence we cannot apply kvl directly so what we will do we will take this current source outside the circuit first and we will analyze its equation first so we are having a current source which is a current controlled current source with the value 0 0.5 ix basically this current source is nothing but this branch current this branch current in terms of mesh currents are like this i1 flowing in this direction which is downward and i2 is flowing upward and the current direction is given by them is upward which is matching with the i2 so equation of current source will be i2 minus i1 equal to 0 0.5 ix the thing is that this will give rise to an equation for solving the only problem is this this ix is a new variable which is not given by us it's given by them and this is a current ix so we need a substitution equation also so basically this ix is given in mesh one only and i1 is also a mesh 1 current but thing is that i1 is flowing in this direction and whereas ix is flowing in this direction which is opposite to that of i1 so i can say ix is nothing but minus i1 so we got a substitution equation let's substitute so the new equation that got formed is i2 minus i1 equal to 0 0.5 ix is nothing but minus i1 after simplifying this we will get the equation as 0 0.5 i1 minus i2 equal to 0 equation number 1 Now we got one equation as the equation of a current source. Now to get a second equation, we'll apply a super mesh to this mesh, which is nothing but a combination of mesh one and two. So let's apply KVL to super mesh. Which is nothing but a combination of mesh one and two. So let's start with the voltage source minus plus plus 50 plus minus minus 10 i1 minus plus plus 10 i3 you have to bypass the current source go ahead plus minus minus 6 i2 minus plus plus 6 i3 plus minus minus 8 i3 repeat 
minus eight I two plus minus minus fifty two equal to zero. So let's simplify. So minus ten I one over here we'll have as a first term for I two minus six I two minus eight I two becomes minus fourteen I two. I three ten I three six I three become sixteen I three fifty minus fifty two is minus two on this side. Let's take this minus two on another side becomes plus two. So straightforward simplification will give you a second equation like this. Let's apply KVL to mesh three to get a third equation. So you can start with the voltage source plus minus minus phi i y plus minus minus six i three minus plus plus six i two plus minus minus ten i three minus plus plus ten i one equal to zero. Now i y is the variable which required a substitution. So let's try the substitution equation for this. Now i y is this guy, which is nothing but a current flowing through this branch, which is common between mesh two and mesh three. And the direction is given from left to right. Left to right is matching with the I two, and I three is right to left. So I Y is matching with the I two. Hence, the substitution equation will be I Y equal to I two minus I three. So wherever there is I Y present. We need to substitute as I two minus I three. So let's substitute in this equation. So what we'll get minus five I Y is I two minus I three. Over here minus six I three minus ten I three will become minus. Sixteen I three plus six I two plus ten I one as it is equal to zero. So let's simplify further. So it will be minus five I two plus five I three minus sixteen I three. Plus six I two plus ten I one equal to zero. So finally, the equation that we'll get is ten I one over here minus five I two plus six I two will become one I two plus five I three minus sixteen I three will become minus eleven I three equal to zero as third equation. So three equations, three unknowns. After solving, we'll get I one, I two, I three as I one is minus one point one five seven nine ampere. I two as minus zero point five seven eight nine ampere, and I three. As minus one point one zero five three ampere. What do we want? Current flowing through A two, which is nothing but I two. So I can say final answer I A two same as I two nothing but minus zero point 
five seven eight nine ampere. This is the final answer. Thank you.